let's see how we use a physical balance to measure the mass of any object with the help of an example. Basically, we have to adopt the following steps. We have to find the mass of a small stone using a physical balance. So, for measuring the mass of any object using a physical balance, we start with adjusting the leveling screws with the help of a plumb line to level the platform of the physical balance. We then raise the beam gently by turning the arresting knob clockwise. Using balancing screws at the ends of its beam brings the pointer at zero position. Next, we turn the arresting knob to bring the beam back on its supports and place the given object, the stone, on the left pan. To find its mass, we place suitable standard masses from the weight box on the right pan and either raise the beam or lower it, given whether or not the pointer is at zero. We continue adding or removing suitable standard masses in the right pan until the pointer rests at zero on raising the beam. Finally, we note the standard masses on the right pan. Their sum is the mass of the object on the left pan. Let's switch over to the lever balance. If you look on this side, you'll be introduced to what a lever balance looks like. All balances work on the same principle, but instead of a beam and fulcrum, the lever balance consists of a system of levers. When we place an unknown mass on one pan and known masses on the other pan, the pointer of the lever system moves. The pointer is brought to zero by varying the known masses.